So now that we have created our model for topic, it's time now to create a controller so that we can perform different actions like add topic, delete topic, etc. So go to your controller and create a new file and save it as topics controller.php and remember that the name of the controllers is always in plural forms and it is always saved inside the controllers directory inside the app directory so let's save it and now let's write code for our topics controller so open php and make a class again topics controller and this will always extend app controller we close our class and we are making a method to create a topic so let's name it add so we'll add a method to do that public function add For every method or action, we need a view. So go to your view and create a new folder and we name it topics. And inside topic, create a new file and save it as add.ctp. Let's see our controller. And test for topics and for add method so we have a blank page so let's create a form here this is the view for that page this is the presentation layer so we create a form before that we create a heading and we write create topic and open PHP and then we echo dollar sign this form create and what we want to create a topic and topic is a model and its name is topic so write topic close the line and now we look for the fields that are inside this table so this is our topics table and inside there are six fields in which id we don't need to save any data because this has the feature of auto increment user id we'll deal this later but as of now we save this value from our form and then title and then visible rest to the created and the modified we never need to supply any value for these because cake php handles these and that fills these values automatically so now let's create a form we write echo dollar sign this form input first of all the user id let's copy this code paste this again and then title and then visible now let's close the form by echo dollar sign this form and the end this will close our form and display a submit button and whatever value goes inside this will always display on that submit button so we write save topic we save the file and reload this page and you can see that a form has been generated and we can notice that the user field has a drop down list because of the associations because the topics always belong to a user so cake php automatically picks that title is a worker field so that displays a text field and visible is a tiny int so that simply makes a checkbox here let's try to save this topic and that says please select an item in the list 
So to get rid of that error, we go to our template file and we comment this line. Let's save this and reload. And now you can see that there are two fields only, one for title and this one is for visible. Let's try to save this topic now. That says that this field is compulsory. Let's say test. Save the topic. And you can see that it comes back to this page because we haven't created any code for this. So let's go to our topics controller and write some code to save the data. First of all, we'll check that whether the form has been submitted. To do that, we write if dollar sign this request is a post request and if so to the following things we want to create a model so dollar sign this our model name and then it's create method this is how we create our model and now let's say this topic and our save method and inside this we'll save the data that has came from that form so this request data let's save this and we enter test again that's visible Save the topic. This is syntax error. I forgot to end the line. And try to save this. And you can see that the page has just been reloaded. But if we go to our database and check for the topics table, then you can see that a new row has been generated and it has all the values that we submitted from our form. And you can notice that created and modified has been updated automatically. So this is how we save the data inside GeekPHP through our views and controllers. But as you can notice that after saving the data, we come back here to this page. But we want our user to go somewhere else. So we'll make that functionality in next movie.